Okay. Again, this is activity number six, concentration and dilution of solutions. So please be ready with your calculator. Calculator sky solving. Give me siya class. So as chemistry students as and as medical students, it is also important for us to know um, the different concentration expressions na ginagamit natin. Dapat alam natin kung ano yung concentration ng mga chemical substances na ginagamit natin sa laboratory. And aside from dapat kabalo ta sa concentration, dapat kabalo po ta magbuhat o chemical with a certain or specific na concentration. So kung gusto ka um, magbuhat o 100% na concentrated na solution, dapat kabalo ka on sa buhaton ni mo. Muna siyang ato ang activity karon, But for this activity, we will just have the molarity as the expression of concentration kasi marami tayong units of concentration class. Meron tayong percentage, meron tayong normality, formality. And again, for this activity, we will concentrate with molarity only. Mauni siya inyuhang makita sa laboratory. I don't know if you have this in your high school days, but sa laboratory, minsan class may makita kang ganito. 1 mhcl. For example, the chemical is hydrochloric acid and together with its name or its chemical formula may nakalagay na 1m. Yan yung kanyang concentration. And the concentration is expressed in molarity. So pag sinabing molarity class, it is actually defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution. So remember sa units natin, um, unsang, unsang chapter to siya, chapter 2 I think sa measurement, ang SI unit for the amount of substance is moles. Okay? And then, pag muingon ka o molarity, is, is, it is actually defined as the number of moles sa solute Again, number of moles of solute dissolved in a liter of solution. So, maupod na siya, class, ang atuang formula for molarity. So, take note of that. Again, that is our formula for molarity. Number of moles of solute divided by liters of solution. And the unit for molarity can either be like this, moles per liter, or simply capital letter M. Again, it should be capital ha kasi the small letter M is another unit for concentration and it is called molality. It's different from molarity. Okay? So again, this one is our uh, unit or expression of concentration, molarity. Now, the number of moles, when you say moles again, it refers to the amount of substance na present. Kung gaano karami ang substance natin na present in our solution. Thus, I'll give you an example on how to compute this one. Wait lang, let me delete this one. Before ka makapag-compute ng molarity class, dapat alam mo ang number of moles. And for you to get the number of moles, this is our formula. This one is grams or the weight, the weight in grams of the solute divided by its molecular Wait, again, yan yung ating formula. You can write this one in the in, in an index card para guided kayo pag nagsosolve. Again, moles is equal to the grams of solute divided by its molecular weight. Now, ano naman itong molecular weight? This is the weight of the compound na... Um, galing sa kanyang atomic weight. 
So again, in reference to its component. So example, NaCl, sodium chloride. Pag pinahanap sa inyo ang molecular weight or um, other, other people will call it formula weight or molar mass. Isa lang na sila ha. Pag ipapangita sa inyo ha ang molar mass or ang molecular weight ni sodium chloride, ganito ang gagawin nyo class. You list down the component Na and the Cl and then i-identify nyo ilang atoms ang nag-exist dyan sa sodium chloride. So definitely kasi wala silang subscript automatic. Isa-isa lang yan. And then, i-multiply nyo siya sa kanilang atomic weight or atomic mass. So we need your um, periodic table here. So please take out your periodic table. You can see there the atomic weight or the atomic mass. It's different ha, from the atomic number. You only have two numbers there. Katong ipabuhat na ko sa inyo mga periodic table. The lesser number is the atomic number. The larger number, katong na decimal point, will be the atomic weight or the atomic mass. Pero for us to be uniform class, we will use the whole number. Meaning you have to round off the atomic mass to the nearest whole number. So just like sodium. Please look at your periodic table. Sodium's atomic number, or atomic number, atomic mass or atomic weight is 23. So this is equal to 23. And then chlorine, please, please look at your periodic table. The atomic weight of chlorine, if the round off nato is 35. Okay. So ang himo na to ani class, i-add na to na sila. So 23 plus 35 is 58. So this is 58. And ang unit ng ating molecular weight, this is now the molecular weight of NaCl, is 58 grams per mole. Again, that's how you compute for the molecular weight. Kasi kailangan natin si molecular weight pag mag-compute tayo ng moles. Tapos kailangan natin si moles pag mag-compute tayo ng molarity. So, kasunod na sila. Another example, um, let's have the example sodium bicarbonate. Ayan. Ayan, sodium bicarbonate. If we are going to look for the molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate, what are we going to do? First, list down the elements. Sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. So unlike the NaCl, medyo marami ito. Now, after listing down the elements, identify the number of Atoms. How many? Uh, how are you going to identify the number of atoms? It can be in the subscript. Na pag walang subscript automatic, that's one. Parehas kay sodium, that's one. Hydrogen also, you have one. Carbon is one. And for oxygen, may subscript siya, meaning meron kang tatlong atoms dyan ng oxygen. And then, the next step, multiply natin sila isa-isa sa kanilang mga atomic masses or atomic weights. So please refer again to your periodic table. Now for sodium, kanina na-mention na si sodium, so this is 23. So 23 times 1, syempre is 23. For hydrogen, what is the atomic weight of hydrogen? Syempre? 1. Okay, 1. Very good. So syempre this is 1 times 1 equals 1. For carbon, this is? 12 miles. Very good. That is 12. Again, please please um, round off the atomic weights to the nearest whole number. Next, oxygen. 16. So 16 times 3 is? 40. 48. 48. And then we'll add this one. 8 plus 2, 10 plus 1 plus 3, 14. Carry one, so three, four, eight, eighty-four. Therefore, the molecular weight of sodium bicarb is eighty-four. Take note of the unit grams per mole. Okay, that is how you compute for the molecular 
weight. Pag alam mo na class ang molecular weight, you can compute now for the number of moles. So for example, let me give you an example. Number one, what is the concentration of the solution in molarity, take note, in molarity, to dissolve um, two grams of sodium chloride in one liter of uh, solution. Meaning, gibutangan ni mo siya tubig. So, mo niya siya ang question. Example din ha sa inyuhang mga balay. Ibilit na ko ni ha. Din ha sa inyuhang mga balay class, nag, nag weigh mo og 2 grams nga asin, kasi diba that's the sodium chloride, tas gidisod ninyo siya sa isa kalitro nga tubig. Now, ang pangutan na, unsa daw ang concentration ana inyong gibuhat nga salt solution in molarity. Take note, ang ato ang formula for molarity is it is molarity is equal to moles of the solute divided by liter of solution. Now, ang given kay 2 grams man of NaCl, wala may given na moles. So, before ka makakompute sa molarity class, kailangan sa ka mag-compute og moles. And again, mawin itong formula, grams of solute divided by its molecular weight. So, pilagan itong grams ni sodium chloride, it's 2 grams. And then, i-divide mo siya sa iyahang molecular weight. Makompute na ito ito kagaina. This one, 58 grams per mole. So, ang mahitabo na class, makancel ang grams. Ang maiwan na unit ay per mole. Pero pag-divide ni mo, Ana, you will get the reciprocal. So, dili per mole ang unit. Mole na lang siya mismo. So, 2 divided by... 58 is medyo mahaba and during our computation, you will not round off pag dili siya final answer. Meaning kung taas kaayo na din ha ang gibutang, kopyahan na tanan. 0 0.03448258 Baba ko nalibat. 0.03448258 8, 2, 7, 5, 8. Okay, again, the unit is in mole. So, kung nana kay moles class, you can now proceed with the computation. 0 0.03448258 Wait lang. Hindi siya makasya. Ano ba yung camera dari sa side? Ayan. We have moles divided by pila ka liter ang iyang gibuhat nga solution isa ka litro lang. So syempre that's the same thing. And then ang pag round off ninyo depende. Kung ang akong instruction is sa number of significant figures, then sundo ninyo ang given. Pero kung ako ako ang instruction kay two decimal places, then you have to round off the final answer to two decimal places. So be careful with the instruction. So for example, ang ako ang instruction is you have to round off your final answer to two decimal places. So mo man ang 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 answer di ba? Kay one naman na mahimo na siya moles per liter. So kung two decimal places, syempre mahimo ni siya 0.03 moles per liter or simply 0.03 capital letter M. So mo ni siya karon class ang concentration sa gibuhat nga solution. 2 grams nga sodium chloride i-dissolve sa isa ka litro nga water. 0.03 molar. We call it molar, not molarity. 0.03 molar. Capital letter M is molar. Questions about this one? Nasundan ba? Or I'll give you another example. Let's have another example. So you try. You try ha. Compute for the 
molarity of a solution. Ah, sorry. A five hundred ml solution containing three point five grams of sodium by carbonate. That is the question. Compute now for the concentration in molarity of a five hundred ml solution containing 3.5 grams of sodium bicarb. I-try daw ninyo, i-apply ang process. And let's see later if we will get the, the same answer, the correct answer. I'll, I'll just wait now. Let's wait for the others. Two decimal places lang ha, para uniform ta. My question, Martin, I'm sure. Okay, let's try to solve this. Again, our formula for molarity, moles per liter. Class in solving, uh, you have to know first the given, no? Okay, para ma, ma assess ni mo kung diretso na baka og compute or naapakay pangitaon. So, for this one, the moles, syempre, is not given here. So we have to compute for it first. Moles is equal to the grams of solute divided by its molecular weight. So the given here is sodium carbonate. It's 3.5 grams. And a while ago, diba, we have computed the molecular weight of sodium by carbonate. Yun sa ganina to to. That's 84 grams per mole. Pero ulito na to ipakita paano siya naging 84 grams per mole. Sodium is 1, hydrogen is 1, carbon is 1. Uh, I'm, I'm referring to the number of atoms here. And oxygen is 3. And then i-multiply natin sila sa kanilang atomic weights. So this is 23. Look at your periodic table. 
hydrogen is 1, carbon is 12, and oxygen is 16. So this is 23, 1, 12, and 48. If we add that, that is 84 grams per mole. So divide na to na siya dire, 84 grams per mole. Cancel lang grams, ang mabili na unit kay mole. So 3.5 divided by 84 is 0 0.0416. This one is continuous. Yeah. Uh, unit again is mole. So isulat na to na siya dire, 0 0.0416. And then next, liter of solution. Take note, take note akong gihatag diri liter of solution. The given is in ml. So class, do not forget na liter ang kailangan. ml ang given. So before mo mag-proceed sa inyo hang computation, kailangan sa ka mag-convert. So let's convert 500 ml into liters. So ml man address sa taas. ML sa baba, liter sa taas. And you all know that sa isa ka liter, na kay 1,000 ML. Makancel lang ML. 500 divided by 1,000, syempre, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 liters. Muna yung mukhang gamitin dari class sa pag-divide. Okay? So, ano, kompleto na ang ato ang mga given. Let's proceed. So, 0 0.041666 mole divided by 0 0.5. You have there 0 0.08333. Daghan nga 3 anyway. Moles per liter or two decimal places ako ingon. The correct answer here is 0 0.08 moles per liter or 0 0.08. Either you use this unit or you use the capital letter M. Parehas lang na sila. So, muna siya ang correct answer karon 0.08 molar. Now, let me check. Okay. 8.33. Wala niya na convert, no? Ito, wala. Hindi siya na convert sa ML. Kaya 8.33. Anyway. Adul po, 0 0.08. Yeah, that's correct. Ang kay, ang kay Shane, ganun po na, ganun 0 0.07 na na siya. Wait lang. I need to record that. Jendi. Kana ang 7.28, wala sa na, na ano no, na, ay na convert. 54 po yung nalagay ko na ano mga gram na maul malik po yung una. Okay. Anyway, I'll just I'll I'll still give credit even if um mali inyo hang answer. Gemwell, that is correct. Johanna, well. Layo lagi kayo na. What happened there? Well, kulang ug zero na angel. You change ko yung final answer mo. Okay. That's okay. 0 0.08. Nakulang sa grams. Ah. Instead of 3. Oh, there. Okay. So, nakuha ang process. Any question? Alin dyan yung hindi naintindihan? Always remember ha, pag, pag ML gani ang given, i-convert sa, sa liter class kasi ang ato ang formula, moles per liter. Okay? Like clarification. Now, um, aside from molarity, we also need to know the process of dilution. Di ba kinahimo na to na even sa itong mga balay, magtimplatag juice pag ano, 
pag tilaw na to sa atong gitimpla nga Dios murag tamis ra kaayo di ba moingon ta concentrated ra kaayo so atong ginabuhat ginadugangan nato og tubig para dili kay siya tamis so syempre ang process ana is called dilution okay again the process is called dilution when we decrease the concentration of our original solution kay basig concentrated lang kaayo siya Now in compute uh, in the computation of dilution class ang ginagamit natin na formula is this one C1B1 equals C2B2 Again C1B1 equals C2B2 wherein etong part na ito is for the original solution and this one is for the new or diluted solution C is for the concentration and V is for the volume. So paano na to ni siya himuon? Example. Ah, uh, kung sabang example ani na question. Actually di lang ako considering inyong activity ha. I'll just give examples na almost the same sa inyong hang activity. Example. Uh, what is the concentration of a five, I'm sorry ano ba na to 250 ml mm, NaCl solution prepared from One hundred ml of two point five molar NaCl solution. So, mo na siyang question. What is daw the concentration of a two hundred fifty ml sodium chloride solution prepared from? Meaning, galing sa. Ito, meaning yan original solution natin is one hundred ml of two point five m. NaCl solution. So if you list down the given here, the C1, which is the concentration of the original solution, is 2.5 m, and then the volume of our original solution is 100 ml. Now for the C2, mao na siya ang ginapangita sa problem. Unsa na daw iya hang bagong concentration? Kung atu asang dugangan og solvent and ang iyahang volume kay mahimo na og 250 ml so ang nahitaboan na class example na kay sa kabaso 100 ml ni siya tapos concent ang concentration ani niya kay 2.5 m tapos ang imuhang gihimo gidugangan nimo siya og water pag dugang nimo sa water nahimo na siya og 250 L. So, unsa na daw ang concentration ana karon kay nahimo naman og 250 ml ang volume. So, this is not actually a difficult na, con uh, na computation because again, our formula is just C1B1 equals C2B2. So, ang himo nato C1 is 2.5 m. Ang volume niya is 100 ml. This is multiplication and then C2 is missing. That is us in the problem, and then volume ng nabago is 250 ml. So i multiply lang nato na sa class. Ang tandaan lang yun nato dapat pareha sila o unit. Kung ml ang naas sa original solution, dapat ml sad ang naas sa new solution. Okay? Or kung molarity ang ang concentration, dapat molarity po ang sa new solution. So 2.5 times 100 is 250 m times ml dili man nimo makansel din ha kay multiplication man na siya and this is c2 times 250 ml and then afterwards syempre we need to isolate the c2 so let's divide both sides with the 250 ml cancel this one Cancel the ml here. Ang mabili na unit is capital letter M. So C2 now is equal to 250 divided by 250. Siyempre, 1. So this is 1M. 
So this is now the new concentration of the diluted solution. 1 molar. Gikan sa 2.5 molar, dilution is maglesen ang ano ha, ang concentration. So gikan sa 2.5 mol molar na 100 ml solution, pagdugang nato sa tubig na himo siya 250 ml, pero ang iyahang new concentration ngayon is 1 molar. That is the dilution process. And that's how we do it inside the laboratory. Kung example, ang available class kay um, 1M and then you are asked to prepare a 0.5M na solution, dugangan na to siya, water. And we can compute actually the volume kung pila ka ML ato ang idugang para mahimo siya 0.5 um, molar. Kana lang atong gamitan na gan, C1B1 equals C2B2. So, dili lang na siya sa molarity applicable. Applicable po na siya sa uban nga unit sa concentration. Example na, amoy alcohol din ha. Kanangin yung ginagamit na antiseptic na alcohol. Example, 70% na siya na alcohol. Tapos, na amoy 500 ml na. Nga karun, gusto ninyo, dugangan siya tubig para managhan siya. So, i-compute na ito iyang bagong concentration. Unya, ang imuhang gidugang na tubig kay mga 500 ml po. So, ang total na nahimo na siya og 1,000 ml. So, imuha lang na siyang i-compute. 70 times 500 is 35,000 percent times ml equals C2 times 1,000 ml. Let's divide both sides with 1,000 ml plus. Cancel this one. Cancel the ml. The new concentration karon sa imuhang alcohol kay 35,000 divided by 1,000, syempre 35%. So, nigamay ang concentration sa imuhang alcohol pag dugang ni mo og tubig. Nahimo na lang siya og 35%. So, ingana ang ginabuhat na to in the process of dilution. So, ang inyuhang activity is about that, the concentration in molarity and dilution. So, please read class the problem, understand them, take note, show all your solutions. This should be handwritten. Pwede ninyo siya i-print pero the answers should be handwritten. Show your solution. And take note, box your final answer and round off your final answers to two decimal places. Tanan-tanan, gikan sa one hangtod sa number eight. Round off your final answer. Final answer to two decimal places. So, mo na inyong himuon. And ang deadline, ani is next week, Monday pa. The reporting will be on Tuesday and it will be the group one na mag-report sa ilahang answer for activity number 6. Any question or clarification regarding the activity number 6? Wala na?